In blindfolded solving, the beginner method solves one corner at a time, each with a long algorithm. The Orozco method also solves one piece at a time, but with shorter commutators. The Restyle uses commutators like Orozco, but it solves two pieces at once. In order to do this, you need to know how commutators work, but for three style corners, it's almost entirely one type of commutator. So even if you haven't learned it, I'll just show you how it works right now. So looking at this example, we have UFR to here to here. So this is the three cycle we need to do, and we can look at those as targets right here. There are three steps to a commutator. First, you have to find an interchange layer. That is a layer you can turn that swaps two of the pieces. We'll always use the U layer or the D layer for this. Then second, for the remaining piece, you have to insert that up to anywhere in the U layer with the same orientation as these. So in this case, that's going to be R prime, D prime, R, and that gets it at UFR. The third thing is once you've determined this is going to here, you need both of the pieces that aren't there already to go there. You just have to get them going in in the correct order. Whichever one belongs here goes here first. So in this case, the piece that belongs here is going to be this one, which means both of these go here, but this one goes there first. So R prime, D prime, R puts it here, then put this one here as well. Then undo each of those steps. So undo and undo. And that's what the commutator notation means. Do one thing, do another thing, then undo each of them. You have to also be able to insert pieces into the back. So this would be done with R, D prime, R prime, and that puts it here. You also have to recognize when there's an interchange layer where the targets are not oriented to the top. So this is still an interchange because they go to each other's spots. You also have to know how to do all of this if the interchange was on the bottom. So inserting from the top to the bottom and being able to turn the bottom to do the interchange. If you don't think you're ready for three style yet, then I recommend learning the Orozco method for corners. This method is really good for bridging the gap between beginner and three style. So that simple idea of the commutator lets you solve any possible three cycle involving the buffer. Now in a case like this, where there's no U or D layer interchange, then what you can do is set up to it. So in this case, we can do U R prime and that gets these here. And this one's over here, so we can do a commutator. So this can go up to UFR like this. And this one can go there with U prime, we just get them in the right order. So this is the one that belongs here since this goes there. So this goes here. So we move that in first, move this one, undo, undo, and then undo the setup moves. The challenge in three style corners is not the commutator, but how to set up to one. So from here, I'll assume you have a decent grasp of commutators, and I'll show you for almost all the cases how to come up with good setup moves. We'll go from easiest to hardest, and the first category is a U target and a D layer side target. So in a case like this, buffer to U layer top target to D layer side target. You need the D target to be able to go up to the top in three moves, which it can right now. And the spot it's going to, you need one target from the top to already be there, which it is. So in this case, you don't need any setup moves. In this case, this one can go up to the back, but there's nothing up here already. So you need one setup move. And in this case, this one can't go up to the back in three moves. So you have to do D prime first to set it up. And then neither top target is there yet, so we need to get one of them there. Then that's two setup moves, which is the maximum you can have for this case. At the end of the video, I'll have an example solve that shows many different types of cases. The next category is a U top target and a D bottom target. Buffer U top target, D bottom target. In this case, we want to set up into the previous case. So we have a U interchange and we want to keep that and the bottom layer target needs to be reoriented to be able to insert into the top. So make sure there's nothing directly above it and then you can move it through the bottom and then get it out of the right layer and restore the right layer. Now we have this, which is a commutator. To do the same idea from the left side, don't use L moves, use L wide moves instead. That way you don't have to change your grip over. So for this one, nothing above it, move it through the bottom with L wide, get it to the other layer here, and then move this back up. Now I can solve this case. And if there's something already above it, then just get it to a spot where there isn't anything above it and you can do the same thing. Now for these cases and future cases, the rule I'm showing you may not always be optimal. It would take too long to go through all the special cases, so make sure you check out the link in the description, which has a sheet of a bunch of good commutators. You should try to develop your ability to come up with these commutators, but for any time you can't, or if you just want to see if there's a better way, then this is a good time to check the sheet. Next we have two D layer bottom targets. This one's really similar to the previous one. We have a D interchange and we have to reorient the U target. So I won't go too in depth because it's the same thing, but we'll move this so there's nothing directly below it and then get it through the top, move it to the other layer, fix this layer. Now we still have the interchange and we have this one oriented so we can do a commutator like this. Next we have two D layer side targets. If the two are oriented with a D layer interchange, then you can just do a regular commutator. For example, insert this one here, interchange, undo, undo. Or if it's farther away, you just do D moves to bring it over. And then if it's oriented this way, then you have to insert it like this. 
So for any other case that isn't oriented on the same side, then what you can do is move one of them through the bottom with the target already on its side as you do that. So in this case, I can do R prime and that sets up a D2 interchange. Obviously the buffer is not in a great spot, so I can do U before that. Then R prime, I have a D2 interchange and I can set it up like this. Or if we have a case like this, you can take the side target and move it through the bottom layer like that. And then now we have a commutator here. Lastly, if they're on the same side, then you want to set up a U interchange instead. In this case, I can do R and that sets up this U interchange. And then I can insert this one up to here by doing D prime first. And now I can insert it up like that. Or I can set up a U interchange by doing this and now set up this one over here and I have a commutator. The next category is LUF or BUR and a bottom layer target. So for LUF or BUR or the letters F and Q, for these ones you set up a D layer interchange depending on what the bottom layer target's orientation is. If it's oriented on this side, then you can move the buffer on top of it like this and you set up a D layer interchange. And then just do U prime to get this one over here and now you can insert this one like that. If the bottom layer piece was oriented this way instead, then you move it next to the buffer before moving the buffer down. And then do U prime and again we have a commutator like this. And if it's oriented to the bottom, then instead you're going to set it up with the side piece. So now you'll move it out of the way and get this side piece down like this. Now just do U and we have this commutator. So for the bottom layer piece, wherever it is, what you could do is do D moves to get it into the spot that I showed where you can set it up. But if it's at the back, you can be more efficient by setting everything up to the back as well. For example, if it's oriented this way, I can get it like this for an interchange like that. And if it's oriented the other way, then I can get the buffer on top of it and do this. Now for BUR, it's pretty much the same idea. So for this orientation, for example, under the buffer and do this. So you can figure out all these yourself by doing the same thing. So we're almost at the end. Next is a U layer side target and any D layer target. So of course this will be U layer side targets that are not LUF or BUR because I already covered those. In these cases, you can do U and R to set up a U layer interchange. For this target, you can do R and that sets up a U interchange right here. You could also do U R prime to set up this. For BUL, you'll usually want to do U prime R prime, but sometimes you can also do U to R. For RUB, you can do U prime R prime to set up a U to interchange, or you can do U R to set up this. And for FUL, same thing, either split them up this way for a U2 interchange or split them up this way. So how we do the setup moves for the commutator depends on the bottom layer piece as well. For example, for this case, I said you can do R, but that doesn't work here because it brings the other piece into the top as well. So instead we can do U R prime, which sets it up like this, which is actually usable. In this case, I can then add one more setup move and now we have a commutator. But sometimes choosing for the top doesn't work that well. So if I do R here, it gets lifted. But if I do U R prime, we get this, which is a bad case. So sometimes you have to also add D moves, D prime, and then do U R prime. Now I have a very good case. So that's pretty much the whole idea. You set up an interchange in the U layer while manipulating the bottom to make sure that it ends up in a good case. And it takes experience to know what you have to do. Next, we have a D layer side target and a D layer bottom target. So D layer side target, D layer bottom target. In this case, you can take the side target and set it up as a U interchange with the buffer. So this is an idea I talked about before. For example, this on the side, I can do that to set up a U interchange and then move this one underneath ready to be inserted. Or if it was facing this way, then I can move the buffer out of the way and set up the U interchange like this. But in this case, it's not very good. So you should usually pick one of those two options, but if it's a case like this where it doesn't work well, then you should probably just go look at the sheet to see what's the best thing to do. I do use some algs there, but if you want to keep it all intuitive, then here's what you can also do. You can also set up a D interchange with the buffer and the bottom target. So you just have to make sure that the move you do that makes this also takes the other piece and moves it into the top. So for example, here I can do R2 and that sets up a D2 interchange with this piece over here. And the last thing you can do, which only works if the side target is not facing away from the bottom target, so in this case, you can do it. You can move either one through the bottom layer without touching the other one, and it'll set up a D2 interchange. So here I can do L wide, that sets up a D2 here. Or here I can do R prime, which sets up this D2. The buffer needs to be in a better spot, so I can do U prime first, and this also works. And the last category is two U layer targets. For these ones, I recommend learning it from the sheets because they don't follow any specific pattern. Of course, they're all intuitive and none of them are that hard, but they all set up into commutators a little bit differently, so you have to learn them one by one. So here's a three style corner example where you can see a lot of these commutators in action. So memorization, UFR buffer goes to here, which for me is P. This goes to S and then E, B, and this is the buffer again. So I will start a new cycle on any of the remaining pieces. Optimally, you'll choose this one because UFL has great commutators, but I'm going to choose this one to show you different types of commutators. So this is L and then I, W, L. I have words for all of these, so it would be pencil, elbow, lion, wall. 
And to memorize that, I would make up a story or a sequence of events out of these. P and S are D layer side targets and they don't have an interchange right now. So I can create that by taking the one on its side and moving it through the bottom layer. So I get the buffer out of the way and do R prime. Now there's an interchange right here and my buffer is here. So one more setup move D prime. And then now I have these two and this one. So this one needs to go here, get the other one over, undo, undo, and then undo the setup moves. Next is buffer to E to B, and if it's two U layer targets, then this is just a special case. So what I'll do here is R2 to get these two into the bottom and have a D layer interchange while this piece is right here. So now I can insert this one into here, and I need this one there first because uh, this is the one that belongs here. So interchange, insert, undo, undo, and undo setup moves. Next is L, I, and I have a U layer side target that isn't one of these two special cases, so I can set up a U interchange. So I'll do R and there's my U layer interchange, and then I'm going to do U prime so I can insert this one into here. Now commutator, insert, interchange, undo, and then undo and cancel move at the same time, and undo setup move. Next I have W, L, and this is one of the harder ones because we have two D layer targets, but one of them is facing the bottom. In this case, you have to draw from experience to know which way to set up the interchange. And you can go back to this section in the video if you wanna see all the options again, but in this case, it's going to be D, R, and that sets up this interchange right here. And we also have to keep track that the remaining piece is right here. So this one, this one, this one, we have a commutator from right here where the bottom piece can insert into this spot. So this one can also go there. The one that goes there first is this one because it belongs there and then move the other one up, undo, undo, and then undo setup moves. So that's about it. Let me know if you have questions in the comments. So even though three style corners is technically simpler than three style edges, the setup moves can get longer and then it can be harder to remember how to undo them. So if you feel like three style corners is too much to learn at once, I highly recommend the Orozco method first. Orozco is faster than old Pachman and gets you used to a lot of the ideas you have to use like canceling setup moves and reversing commutators. I haven't talked about how to do corner twists and edge flips yet, but that's for another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.